What's up, y'all? Um, this is Leroy at um, Audio Camp Shaman Studio. We got a um, kind of a trap hip hop song with a young lady singing. It's called Ill Fan. And um, as you can see, we have um, the beat and a couple of little parts they added extra to the beat a lead vocal, a background vocal. And then we have a couple of other vocals right here with some production on it, like um, lead number three and effects one, and I guess that's effects two. Okay, so it's very simple, and we're going to focus mostly on the the, um, the vocals. Okay, so um, let's take a listen to it a little bit. Okay, so you guys get the idea. It's a nice song. Um, the voice sounds very intimate, like she's recording very close to the microphone. Um, also, um, you can see that she's singing kind of very low, and she has a lot of bass in her voice. So these are some of the things that we're going to deal with. So um, let's get started. The first thing I like to do is set up my mix bus and... Um, I'm using five plugins on my mix bus, and these plugins are very, very important to me because they um, um, keep the song in control, like especially for mastering and allows me to focus on the mids and the sides and all those things that's very important in mixing. So just start. So I, as you can see, I got five plugins, and my um, first plugin is the UAD Furchow 670. And this machine right here is only, I just want the tone of it. I don't really want it to compress. So as you can see right here, the only thing I did was put that to one, the threshold. After that, I'm all set, okay? So my next function is to compress the song. And I'm gonna use the Need 33609. This is also by, uh, by UAD. And um, you can see here, we have two sections, the limiter, and the compressor, we're not going to touch the limiter, but we're going to work on the compressing side. So the first thing I need to do is set the ratio, 1.5, because that's really good for mastering and for mix bus. I'm not going to touch the gain. The recovery, time is set to 100. That's very fast. The threshold, we don't know what the threshold is until we start playing some of the beat. And then we're going to speak about that later on. Okay? So now we also... From both machines, we got the analog sound too. So we got this Neve sound and the Furchild sound. So now we can start EQing. My first EQ is um, allows me to focus on the mid section, what happens in the middle, and the stereo section, what happens left and right. And I also have solo buttons. So if you solo the mid, you will hear only things in the mid. And if you solo the sides, you will hear only things in the side. But be very careful to make sure these buttons are both off or you're going to have a mess. All right, so now in the middle, the mid section, you can see we have a low mid frequency at 315 hertz. There's a boost at 0.7 dB. And then you can see right here on the stereo section, we did the same thing, low mid frequency, but this is at 160 hertz. We boost at 0.7 dB. And then over at the high frequency at six kilohertz, we boost that 1.7. Okay, so this allow us to control what's happening in the, the, the mono and what's happening in the stereo. So let's continue. Next EQ is actually um, the general EQ for the song. Uh, this is a Poltex EQ, it's a famous EQ. It's also gonna give us that um, analog tone too. So you can see we have a low frequency and a high frequency in a bandwidth. So the low frequency I set at 100, we boost it at 3.5. The bandwidth is at 7.5. And at the frequency at 10 kilohertz, we boost at 3.5. And finally, we have to have a limiter and we're using the Pro-L Fat Filter um, limiter. And this one is something I trust a lot and um, it's very simple to use. If you go to your right and you go right over here, you can see a little box appears with a little knob. And I just changed that to 0.02 dB. And then we're all set. 
So let's continue. All right, so um, let's get started with the beat. Um, as you can see, the beats are in red. Um, it's actually a left and right for beat one. And beat two is actually just a little bit of production right in the center of the song. And um, I've already listened to the song, so I know it's pretty much a kind of a trap, hip hop type of vibe going on. So it's important for the low end to be correct and um, maybe to listen to what's going on in the, in the claps or the snare department. All right, so let's take a listen to it. Okay, so I know right now that I need to respect that kick. So what I'm gonna do is, is take all of the beats and group them to a beat mix. And on the beat mix, I'm actually going to just EQ it a touch. I like this way it sounds. So um, around where the bass drum is, I'm gonna boost that at 60 Hertz and I'm gonna keep the Q kind of wide so I can pick up some of the other bass frequencies on the left and the right of that frequency. So. You can see here, 60 hertz is boost 1.52, just a small boost. And the Q is one. And over to the right, just to pick up some of the high end, at almost five kilohertz, that's gonna be boost 9.7, which is one dB, and um, the Q is one. And next thing is, that's important to me, is to make sure that this beat respects the output level over here of the uh, master bus. So let's take a look at that. And let's get the Neve going, set the, the threshold. Now, take a look at this. That's too much compression, and that's nothing. So let's get it to a good level. Okay, so that's pretty good. As you can see, I'm focused on the bass drum. Uh, the bass drum is pretty much the loudest signal in the song. And um, I'm going for 4 dB or 5 dB of gain reduction, and that's where I'm gonna set my threshold to, okay? So let's continue. Okay, so um, let's focus on the lead vocal. Um, she kind of sings kind of soulful, and she's got a little bit of actually a lot of bass in her voice and she's singing very close to the mic and um, it sounds very intimate and she's got a lot of S in her voice but I want to reserve that I like it actually um, so let's see what we can do so let's just take a basic listen to a couple of bars of it first Drunk sober side I'm just passing by okay so the first thing we need to do is try to make sure she's in tune. What I'm gonna use is the waves tune real time. And the first thing we need to do is find out what's her note or the note of the song. So the song is in F sharp minor. Click on that and you can find a minor right there. And the next thing is that this, um, I'm gonna just change this to 15.3. That allows me to get a little bit of electronic sound in the voice and also the natural sound too. So um, that should sound pretty good. Take a listen. Drunk sober side I'm just passing by. No, I won't bother you. I don't know. Okay, so that locks in um, her tone. And um, she's not really out of tune, but this is to make sure everything goes right. All right, so our next thing is, it's going to be the Deessa here. Let's cut that on. It's the same thing. I'm going to use the Waves Deessa. Um, I go to the preset, actually, and go to Female S. And I just find a threshold, move the threshold around until I get about 3 dB of gain reduction and, or 6. All right, and then right here, there's the frequency. So that's on now. So you can see it moving a little bit there. I'm just past. Okay, so you can see what I'm just um, when she puts the S in that. You can see it. Um, it peaks right there. 
So the next thing is we're gonna have to EQ our vocals and we're gonna use the fab filter. And I'm just using a few little things that's important to me. I'm going to get rid of the bass and which is 160 Hertz. The Q is one, 12 dB. And then right here in the boxy sound of our voice at 455 Hertz, I'm going to cut that 3.17 dB. The Q is one. That's going to be a boost in the high frequency at 5837. That boost is 2.64. And the Q is one. So let's listen to that. Drunk sober side of mind. I'm just passing by. No, I won't bother you. I don't know. Okay, so that's kind of nice. So um, the next plugin we're going to use is just the to to increase the um, the analog sound. So we're going to use a tape machine. This is the Waves Bundle J37. And the only thing I did was change the saturation to one. Okay, so listen to that now, which pretty much is very a slight touch of difference in sound. Drunk sober side of mind. I'm just passing by. No, I won't bother you. Okay, so the final thing that we need to do is put a compressor on her voice. So... This is the LA-2A, this is UAD, and this is um, pretty much the most famous compressor for vocals. It's transparent, and let's cut it on. And I'm gonna try to get her voice to go to about five or seven dB of gain reduction right there, so let's do that. Don't go sober side of mind. I'm just passing by. No, I won't bother you. Okay, so, no, I won't bother you. That's pretty much where the loudest peak of her voice is right there, and I got that little pass, 5 dB. So the next thing is, I don't really know what the output level should be until I hear the song. Okay, so let's go back up, and let's get the, um, the music back in. And let's fix the level. Okay, so that's kind of nice, you know, um, we still might have to adjust the vocals later on, but um, it's off to a good start. So let's continue. The next thing we need to set up is our auxiliaries and um, our effects, if you want to call them. And you can see we have five. We have auxiliary A, B, C, and D and E. So the first one, we will have an exciter. Number two will be our reverb. Number three would be the doubler. Number four would be a delay. And the last one would be a duck and delay. Now you can see on the um, lead channel, the sends are completely maxed. Okay? So that means we have to adjust the levels over here directly on the, um, the send channels. All right, so the first one that we do is it's going to be called the exciter. So let's click on that, get that up. On the exciter, this is made by Waves. I'm gonna go to here to vocals and I'm gonna choose upfront female voice. That's my preset and actually I don't do anything else. Now I just need to um, adjust the level in the song. So let's listen to it. Drunk sober side I'm just passing by no, I won't with the music. You. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I'm okay, so that sounds pretty nice. So this is excited to give us that radio sound and give us that studio sound too. And this is, it's actually an exciter. Okay, so that's pretty nice. So now the next thing that we're going to do is actually do the reverb. But before we do the reverb, we got to figure out a few things. So let's go to our calculator. We're going to type in this number. So we need to get our times right so we can adjust the reverb time. 
So this is the number, 60,000 divided by the tempo, which is 115, equals 521. So 521 would be um, a quarter note. So if you go over here, you click on that. If you would set this reverb time to that number, that would be a quarter note. So we want something a little shorter than that. So we're going to go to divide that by two again, and that will give us um, the eighth note. So that's, as you can see, 260, that's what we got. And you can continue to, to 130 and et cetera and et cetera. And then the most important thing is the last one over here is the pre-delay. And I got that set to 16. All right, so that keeps us in time with the song so the reverb will fall off um like part of the groove so the next function is oh uh, sorry this is the h reverb by waves okay and um the next thing is we need to eq that reverb as you can see here number one this is the um lives um eq eight number one here 174 hertz that has been completely removed and then number two here, at 337 hertz, it's been cut 4 dB. The Q is 0 0.71. And then you can see right here, um, there's a slight boost at 3.75 kilohertz. That boost is 1.86. Okay, and um, that's basically it. Let's take a listen to that. I'm just passing by No, I won't bother you I don't know where I'm going But I know I'm going and That's kind of nice So you can see how long that reverb is So, um Usually on a um, on a vocal I don't like really long reverbs And sometimes if it's too short It's not good too So I just started in the middle right here so the middle was 2.60 reverb time. So the next thing that we want to do will be our doubler. And um, let's take a listen to that. Cut that on, take the music off. The doubler I'm going to use is the Michael Shift. This is my favorite. And I'm going to go to kind of extreme. I'm going to go to style number three. And I did the detone a touch a little bit right here. I don't know what. It's like, like 10 or something like that. And I EQ'd it a little bit too. Um, it's basically the same EQ as the lead vocal. Um, 189 hertz has been removed. There's um, a cut at 439. A cut is 3.75. The Q is 1. There's a boost right here at 4433. Three. Hertz and um, the boost is 1.62. The Q is 1.82. And that's it. So let's take a listen to that doubler now. Drunk sober side now that's nice. Now, there's two options with the doubler. You can use it as an effect really bring it up front like I just did, or you can bring it down subtle in the, in the mix. And it's actually helping with the stereo imaging of the song. Okay, so let's listen to it with the song, Fix the Levels. Okay, so that's pretty nice. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is a delay. And this is more like a slap delay. It's not, um, I usually don't want to really hear this delay. I just want to hear at the end of little phrases and everything and really deep in the mix. And um, this is the H delay. Um, so it's already synchronized, as you can see. And what I did was I set it the low fee on, tap that in, and I got... The high pass filter at 77. The low pass filter is at 5 
kilohertz. And um, I got one eighth selected. That's what I want. And I took the analog completely off. So let's listen to that. So you can hear that's how it sounds, but we don't really want to hear that. So I'm just going to bring that down in the mix a little bit. All right, so it gets that little slapback thing going, okay? And then finally, uh, we're going to have the delay that you're really going to hear in the song. And that's it. We call it a ducking delay because it has to have a side chain on it. All right, so let's take a look at it. Um, the first thing we need to do is get my delay. My delay I'm using is um, my favorite. It's just the Eco Boy delay. Um, you go here and you choose vocal and you go to clean ping pong. Okay, and after you do that, you change the notes to one fourth on both sides. There's a little bit of low cut right here um, that I use, but the high cut didn't touch that. And it has to be synchronized. You have to make sure that it's the same tempo. That's pretty much set. And after that, you have to have a compressor at the end and you have to choose side chain. And on the side chain right there, you have to select here and you go to what is actually making the compressor function. And that would be lead number one. Okay. And then after you do that setup, the most important thing to me is the threshold. The threshold determines kind of like um, when it compress, and it also fixes the level on the on the on the um, the bottom the bottom of the um, the track. So it's actually you always hear it, but it's subtle. And then when the person stops singing, it pops up. Okay, kind of like that. So the next thing is I want to put some. I want to change the tone of it. So on the, um, the first thing I did was EQ it. I got it in a telephone effect. This is the own zone EQ. And I took right here at 417 Hertz. I actually removed all of that. And then I boost here at 1339 Hertz, 4.5 dB. The Q is 0.7. And then the final one here is a, um, another filter. And this is at 4227 Hertz and it's at 48 dB. And that's gonna give us a boxy sound. And then I actually added something else to it. The um, Sound Toy Double Locks. This give me a little bit of distortion. So I put that on three and the crush is at one. So this is the results. I'm just passing by. No, I won't bother you. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so you can hear that the vocals is distorting a little bit. And um, I like that. It's a nice effect. I think also in the final, I would probably do some automation on this to, um, to actually open it up at certain points and certain points close it. But it's just a basic start. So that's kind of cool. So let's continue. Okay, so um, the next thing is a uh, background vocals, and it happens not much in the song, but it's very important. Sometimes it's kind of like a harmony thing going on there too. It's really nice. So let's take a listen to it, and actually we're gonna listen to it with the plugins on. So let's listen. Drunk sober side of my I'm just passing by. No, I won't. Okay, that's kind of nice. So what we did was on the background vocals here, um, we actually put the um, the waves um, tune real time on. Same thing, F sharp minor. This time we actually got a little bit more of that robotic sound and we went to 10 right here. That was the only thing that was really changed. And the next thing that we did was the DDSer. It's pretty much the same as before. Female S and just fix the, um, the the threshold so it can get around three to six dB. And then our next thing was we did was the EQ. 
Now this EQ um, was it's a little bit different. We took um, the ozone EQ. You can see here at 147 hertz has been removed, and actually at 483 hertz, there's a um, cut at 3.1 dB. The Q is 1.5. There's a boost right here at two, it's at 20.65. That boost is 1.5. The Q is two. There's another boost right here at five kilohertz. The gain is 1.3. The Q is 3.5. And finally, there's some high frequency right over here at eight kilohertz, 8.691. And just a small gain at 0 0.7, the Q is two. Okay, so next, um, the same thing we did on the, the lead vocal, we add in the um, Waves J37 um, tape machine and same function. We just took the saturation and added one um, 0 0.0 of gain. Okay. And finally, we use the LA-2A. Let's take a look at that. You can see I got it at 60. Same thing, I'm trying to go to five and seven. I'm getting reduction and I just fixed the levels to something that I like right here um, in the mix. So let's listen to that with the mix. Don't go sober side. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. Um, one other thing that I did to that was, as you can see here, there is um, the reverb is set to maximum, which is B. Same reverb as the lead. And then also E, the delay. This one, this time, is probably a little over, like 60% of that is in there. So it's not as loud as the lead vocal with the delay. And also what's important to me is the panning. It's not pan centered. It's a little bit pan to the right. And that should do it for um, the background vocal. As you can see, we have another one called lead three here. I'm gonna rename that to BK, background two. All right. And you can see it's right here. It only happens like, I guess one time in a song. Yes. So um, let's take a listen to it and um, without the effects in the song. Blind walking, sleep talking, late night. Okay, so I like that. And what we're going to do is going to make a little bit of interesting techniques on it. So what I'm going to do is um, use um, auto-tune. And um, the way to get an auto-tune on... Um, Bolton Live is you click right here and load a preset. And I'm going to go to Dean Coleman and I'm going to choose minor hard auto tune effect. Okay. And then after I do that, I need to make sure it's F sharp minor. And that's pretty much it. You can modify things later on, but that's my basic setup on that. So let's listen to that now. Blind walking, sleep talking. Late night. Now, you don't have to use auto-tune on this, but it could be kind of fun. So you can, you know, just mute it if you don't like it. If you do, leave it on. The next thing is I'm going to use own zone and EQ. Let's cut that on. As you can see, I got the telephone effect again. Right here at 417, 24 dB. That's where my filter is. The boost is at... 1339, and that's at 4.5 dB. The Q is 0 0.7. And if you click on this one here, the frequency is at 4227 hertz, or 4 kilohertz, and the cut is 48 dB, and that's going to give us the telephone effect. So let's listen to that. Blind walking, sleep talking, late night. All right. So my last thing is I'm going to do is add a little bit of distortion. And that's my favorite one, the Sound Toys Devil 
locks and you can see here the crush is at one and the crunch is at two so let's listen to that blind walking sleep talking late night okay so now let's listen to it in the mix let's see what we got oh before we listen to it check it out um bk1 is pan to the right and this bk2 would be pan to the left okay it's almost the same thing with the sends this less reverb as you can see right here and more delay okay so let's listen to all three of them together blind walking sleep talking late night walk okay just the two lead and bk2 so that's kind of nice so you get that um what you um that kind of um distorted sound on one side of the uh, of that riff so let's listen to it the song Okay, so that's pretty nice. Um, let's continue with the effects. Okay, so um, as you can see here, just in one um, moment of the song, we have these two vocals. One is FX1 and one is FX. We're going to rename that to FX2. Okay, save that. And let's take a listen to them. Number one. Got a Okay, so that's actually some kind of production. Um, it's part of her vocals that they um, reversed. Okay, and let's listen to the next one. FX2. Okay, so now I'm also listening to number two. You can hear that it has some reverb. This is sin. And it all ha also has a delay. The ducking delay in E. And on um, FX1, it has nothing. There's no um, sins involved. So let's go back to number one. Click on that. And you can see I'm using the fab filter. That's the only thing I'm using. Cut it on. And here we go. At 415 hertz, we um, cut that 2.23 dB. And the Q is one. There's a boost at 4428. The boost is 2.33 dB. And the Q is one. That's it. Just a little bit of EQ in on that. So let's listen to that. So it just clears it up a little bit. And now number two. Um, I'm going to take the delay off for a minute. And just take a look at that. We got an own zone EQ on it. And the EQ is the telephone effect again. You can see that we got... Um, 417 hertz has been removed. The dB is 24. There's a boost right here at 1339 hertz. And the gain is 4.5. The Q is 0.7. And let's move over to the right here. There's another filter. 4227 hertz. And the dB is 48. And that gives us a telephone effect. So let's listen to that now. Before. Got a free my mind. Before. Got a free my mind. And now. Got a free my mind. Okay, so it gives a little style there. And then we're also going to add some sound toy um, devil locks. And we're going to um, give a little bit of distortion. So we got this at 2.5. And that at 1. So let's listen. Got a free my mind. Before. So it's just a touch difference. Now, the next thing is another sound toy. This one would be the um, little micro shift. And we have that at three. So it's a doubler. So listen to that now. So that's the nice. It spread out the... Um, 
image of the um, stereo imaging. And then the last thing is you can choose to use it or you can decide not to, but just something to do. This is the Nectar um, 3. And you can see here that we have a couple of harmonies going on. But the first thing we need to do is set the scale. That one would be F sharp minor. And then after you do that, you will see that I chose the third right here. That's on the right. And then I also chose the seven. And you can see the panning situation and the gaining. Let's go back to the first one. The third is gained at 0.7 and it's 37.5 is the pan and then number seven over here in the harmony is gained at negative 2.1 the pan is 68.8 and now over to the left i have the seven again but this time is gained at um, negative 1.4 and is panned at negative 44.5 and then the next one will be the second, negative second. And it's panned, it's gained at negative 2.8 and the pan is negative 75.4. Okay. And um, final thing is I took a little bit of the filter right here at 106 hertz and cut that a little bit. So let's take a listen to that now. Now, you can mess around with this a lot, but we're going to talk about that in another session, a little bit more advanced class on um, vocal production, like um, the vocal synth um, and harmony machines and things like that. Okay, so um, you can check that out later. So let's take a listen to it with the two voices. Now, you can see um, effects one is panned to the right, and effects two is panned to the left. So let's listen to it with the song. Okay, a little bit before. Gotta walk away, gotta walk away, gotta free my mind. So I'm gonna make that a little louder so you can hear that. That's a touch louder. But in the mix, we have to find the right level, of course. All right, so that's pretty nice. Put that delay back in. And um, this is pretty much a few things that you can do with your vocals. So let's continue. Okay, so um, like I said earlier, there's some um, other classes on some other vocal techniques and um, advanced classes on special effects and treatments like vocal synth and nectar, et cetera. And uh, most important thing is to check out other videos and other technicians and um, create your own studio and digital studio and figure out what's best for you. But I think this is a good start. And... Um, I actually like the song a lot, so let's take a listen to it, and um, we'll see you guys next time. Later.
I don't even see anything Just a plane of lights and colors Like green, yellow Then red, mellow If it wasn't my ears, yeah, I'd be no way Sad and friends C'est pas fini, c'est pas fini L'impression de tomber dans le vide Si c'était vraiment la fin, la fin, la fin J'ai pleuré, j'ai pleuré J'ai crié, j'ai saigné Attends midi et soir Je ne cherche que la paix J'ai pleuré, j'ai pleuré J'ai crié, j'ai saigné Matin, midi, soir Je ne cherche que la paix Je ne cherche que la paix